you're Capricorn, you're dealing with somebody that you don't completely trust. You want to completely trust them. Um, they look good on paper. You want to completely trust them because you've worked hard on this, whatever this is, whether it's a relationship or it's a business deal. You put a lot of yourself into it, but there is that sense of fear, fear of getting into this happiness, into this happy place. And with you, I do think that the fear is validated. It is something that, um, you know it, you can feel it. I'm just going to say it straight out. You understand, you know it. And there's such a wonderful sense of, I just want you to be able to be happy too, because you deserve to be happy. You deserve this opportunity. You deserve this abundance. And there is abundance, but there is that sense. You can still feel the instability. Capricorn, walk, walk carefully. Watch your steps. Um, I think it'll make you feel better. I think it'll make you feel, and there's maybe that sense, maybe that's what it is. It's just a sense of wanting to remain in control and feel in control. And, um, and maybe that's what, that's what this is all about of not really, um, no, I, I can say this to you right now. You're more intuitive than people give you credit for. And I, I know that you can feel the instability here. I, I know it. And I don't want to say that you're wrong because I don't think that you are wrong. The, what I'm feeling is that, what I'm feeling is that, I just don't want you to stop moving forward because you feel this instability. And we talked about this. There, yeah, this is the same energy, but it's like you're getting deeper into it. It's like you're you're going even further out into the sand, into your you decided to keep going and now like that instability is is growing. Um I I think it's good for you. Um even if it brings some hardship, which I do feel is coming, um, some more surprises. In other words, as much as I want to say to you that the shit storm is over, it's not. The, it's over for now, but there's another shit storm on its way. The... I do think you can weather this and I do think that you need to stick with this. But I also wish, and maybe it's, it's your, cause this is the, this is the channeled portion. You're going to then get the full Oracle card predictions. And then of course your angel messages are going to come to you at the end. Um, and then your extended is always in the description box below and that's your full tarot card spread and uh, your romance reading. So check that out, please. Um, I want it to be smooth for you. <laughs> I want the difficulties to be completely done and over with. Um, you know, I think they are for the most part. It's just not as, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in Utah, uh, in Salt Lake City. It's pretty cool. Um, I have the mountains behind me and, I just don't have the perfect setup, so I apologize. Um, but, you know, well, shit, the reality is never as perfect as the fucking dream. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's, it's always got the dirt and the dust and, you know, walking on that sand in your dream. You don't have to feel it crust between your toes or like get stuck underneath your toenail and irritate you when you put your sandals on. You know what I'm saying? It's still fucking sand. It's just never as perfect as in your dream because we have to experience all the imperfections. And I think that that's what's happening. So it's not that there's a shit storm coming. It's just that there was a fucking shit storm and you're coming from a shit storm and you finally saw those white sands in front of you. And you're like, let's, let's be happy now. Maybe I finally get to be happy. And you do finally get to be happy, Capricorn, but it's a real happiness. It's not a fantasy happiness. It's real. There's, there's realness to this. And I think that that's what's so beautiful about this opportunity is that it's actually real. 
even though it makes it more complicated, even though it makes it more difficult, it does make it more tangible. It makes it earth. It makes it something that you can actually affect and influence. And I think that, wow, that's, that's great. I just don't think that you've really felt the greatness yet because you wanted the fantasy. You went through a lot of crap and a lot of difficult times to get here. And what seems, I'm telling you right now, looking on the outside, it's going to seem like a fantasy to everybody else. But for you, it's going to be the reality version of that the fantasy. Why don't you use the way that they see things to help you? Like, listen to the people on the outside. You know that it's not perfect. But simultaneously, you also know... Kisses, stop. She's just being a little devil dog. That's what's going on. You know? I mean, like, I don't know. Let me use it as an example. Perfect example. Like, she's adorable. I love my dog so much. But she's also intrusive. And she's stubborn. And, God, the, it's... I hate saying that the realities never match up to the fantasies because in a lot of ways, they're better than the fantasies. The reality is better than the fantasy because the fantasy is really all you. And if you're still fantasizing, it still means that you're all alone. And the reality means that you're not alone now. You have to deal with somebody else, which means that there's bullshit and there's... um need for compromise and there's uncomfortable awkward circumstances where you don't always come out smelling like a rose because in a fantasy you could just make that shit go away and turn your dream into a different direction and in reality you actually have to get through the, you have to get through the awkwardness um but it it means that you're not alone anymore and what a wonderful thing you know i don't think that even you can see where this is going and that's the wonkiness and that's the craziness and that's the upset and still remains the piece that makes you want to turn around don't fucking turn around capricorn keep going keep going because you know, the house of your dreams is being built. It's just, it's being built in reality now. And reality always has bumps and scrapes and, and delays. And that's just part of the process. Um, I just don't want you to get discouraged because I do feel like there are such doubts in you still. And I know where those doubts come from. They come from your inability to completely control the circumstance. They come from your inability to be completely certain. Um, there is no, there is no certainty right now. I, you know, I kind of just said this, I recorded a message. Um, I recorded a message for, you know, my Vimeo channel. Um, and, and it, it's the, just the truth is like, we're all in this weird stage of things were torn down before we had the blueprints for what was going to go back up in its place. And it's a wonderful time. We're all in the awkward position together. It's not just you. And I think whoever you're dealing with, especially if this is a romantic relationship, they're awkward too, you know? And I, I, I just don't want you to stop because I know you're headed in the right direction. If I, if I thought you were headed off a cliff, I would tell you, I don't think you're headed off a cliff, but I do think <sighs> the journey is going to be a little bit more irritating than you could have predicted it to be. That's what I think. Hold on. A lot of cards came out for you almost too many but maybe that's part of the problem there's a lot there's a lot coming at you all at once there's a lot changing all at once and so there is a response in you feeling very vulnerable because all these changes are happening so fast and not what not trusting them and not wanting to go on them and not wanting to take those changes almost being stubborn and saying nope not me not going anywhere um, sticking your head in the sand, not wanting to see, not wanting to see the warning signs, not wanting to see the truth, um, not wanting to see, um, in other words, now why would I keep with cards like this? Why would I tell you to keep moving forward? I, I just think that, that, yeah, you're going to get some warning signs. You're going to get, you're going to get some stop signs. You're going to get some danger ahead signs. 
you have to keep moving forward. That that's that's what I'm that's what I'm sensing. That's what I'm picking up. And I know that you feel very very vulnerable here. And there is a presence of somebody who's very foxy, um, very um, very deceptive, very manipulative. And it hasn't been completely exposed yet. Their truth hasn't been completely exposed yet. This could be a mother of some sort, a mother energy that is very overprotective, overbearing. Um, somebody who is a, would, will attack. There is a sense of an impending attack it, it may not be obvious yet it may not have come out yet but there is a sense of an impending attack this could be energy from you if you're a mama bear a sense of um you know it building inside of you you wanting to stick up for somebody you wanting to defend somebody but not having the opportunity yet to do it or not wanting somebody to this is just an energy of not wanting somebody to move forward not wanting somebody to move on not wanting somebody to being overprotective, bottom line. It's almost like helicopter parenting and making them feel afraid because you're afraid. Um, that's what this energy is. So this is an energy that you may feel growing or building inside of you or around you. And you are going to have to deal with this. This could be like, um, this could be having to deal with, it's something to do with maternal energy. So either you're going to have to confront your tendency to helicopter your children or you're going to be dealing with or impacted by a helicopter parent um and you're going to have to deal with that crap even though you thought this was going to be smooth sailing it's not going to be smooth sailing it's going to be it's almost like this impending this, this impending attack from this person that thinks that they're doing the right thing but really they're only acting on their own fear and they're trying to make somebody else afraid too um this is more disloyalty. This is more, or just a sense of dependency, like a little puppy dog. This is Piscean energy, just jumping in, wanting to jump right in. And there is a sense of, yes, there's so much abundance here, but you can't jump right to the honey. The, there's still work to do. This card in reverse isn't horrible. It doesn't mean bad luck. It just means that to get you a honey Capricorn, there's still work that you have to do, but there is a sense of impetuousness and impatience that is almost impeding your ability to get that work done. It wants to rush in and have all this abundance and have all these wonderful things. What's weird is I think, I think the wonderful things are meant to be, but it's almost like settling for less or putting up that prefab house just because you found the right plot of land instead of, you know, weathering the storms and sleeping in the tent or the RV for a while while the real construction takes place and you actually construct your dream home. This is an energy of dealing with somebody who could be dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, a Leo, somebody whose insecurities is making them want to just jump right into something um, before things are actually ready. It's not that it's not going to get there. And that's why you don't want to rush this. You don't want to rush this. It's like slow down, slow the fuck down because the process is so important right now. I mean, it's almost process is more important than outcome because nobody knows what the outcome is going to be. Nobody knows what the end of those blueprints is going to be. So the process is so important. All that we can control is where we place the next brick and how finely and accurately we measure the angles and how we smooth the mortar. That's really all we can control right now. So it is putting brick by brick in the right place and doing things the right way. But you're dealing with an energy i don't know if it's a romance or a partnership a business deal i just want to rush into it rush into it rush into it do not fucking rush into it this is a mentality of insecurity what they're really doing is it may seem like they're offering you something good but they're only offering it to you because they're afraid and they're worried and they're they're instinct is to jump in as opposed to deal with all this awkwardness and all this craziness it's it's like a way for them to avoid the discomfort that they don't actually want to face to just jump in and say hey everything's wonderful but everything isn't wonderful you know and you're going to be faced with this opposing energy of of you, you're going to be faced with this conflict you're going to be faced with this energy of overprotectiveness or um um it's almost like their their energy of just wanting to jump in is going to be met with an exact opposite energy of not wanting to move at all. 
and it's doing it to balance it out. It's doing it. That's that's what's happening. It's 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 doing it to balance to balance it out because you don't really want to rush in. And this conflict or this challenge is actually being put there. You could say it's an obstacle. You could say, hey, you were digging for your dream home. I'm using the metaphor because it worked really well last time. But you found this huge boulder and you didn't realize how big it was. And instead of like incorporating it into the design of the house, it's like, no, just learn how to dig around it step by step. Don't ignore this. It's there to slow you down because whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, they just want to fucking jump the skin. And why are they really jumping in? They're not jumping in because they're as gung-ho as they're telling you they are they're not jumping in because they're as confident as they're telling you they are they're jumping in because they're scared and they don't know how else to do it and that doesn't necessarily mean that where you're headed is a bad thing once again I don't think it is a bad thing and I think it's a really good thing from all the rest of the cards that are coming up that I'm looking at and I can see I haven't shared them with you yet but I can see that the future has really long-term potential it has a wonderful energy of newness and freshness and a new beginning and a new start but there is also this sense of protectiveness defensiveness of being ready and being prepared and not letting yourself be vulnerable not wanting to walk into a new situation completely unprepared wanting to get a further look into the distance this is wonderful energy for you this is Taurus energy this is long-term happiness this is gentleness this is looking into the future but you see that there are some issues you see that there are some conflicts of interest you see that jumping in may lead to getting your butt pinched you know what I'm saying it's like you can see that there are dangers so why ignore them there's this impulsive energy that you're dealing with that wants to just ignore the potential dangers because it makes it easier for them right now. Well, fuck that. Because the truth is, in order to build that foundation that you really, really want, you've got to address all these uncomfortable briar patches. You've got to address all these prickly things. You can't walk in unprepared. But there is a great deal of fortune here. And there is a great deal of move forward and and do take that leap of faith but don't take a huge leap you know what i'm saying like leap small go step by step this is beautiful energy it really is it is like seeing the potential in an awkward situation seeing the future potential and knowing this is a good place to step even though there are cactuses all over the place this 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 has abundance to it i just have to I can't just rush in and jump into a cactus patch. I have to dig out, clear the space. It's there for a reason. This prickliness is there to slow you down so that your jump is not such a huge jump you end up killing yourself. Just letting you know. Just letting you know. But there is a lot of abundance and there is a lot of awkwardness and there is a lot of... Um, take a leap of faith in this odd thing in this new beginning and there is a lot of potential for the future in it it's just processes everything right take time to heal this is kundalini energy it's very sexual energy so you could be dealing with somebody who is extremely turns you on a great deal you have a great deal of sexual chemistry between the two of you um but there's also this sense of um this is potentially combustible energy and it is all how you deal with it that is going to determine whether it's healthy or not because this could be very overpowering and destructive energy as well so you know you're not the snake charmers it's like don't get cocky that's what i'm saying Capricorn don't get cocky because this is a, this is a sense of you're charming the snake but you always have to be aware that you're dealing with something deadly and you're dealing with something that could potentially harm if not you somebody that you care about so always know that always know that there's you could be stepping on a time bomb here nothing is wasted and be playful this is interesting this is finding treasure in a trash heap and seeing the good and the bad and seeing the potential in what other people would have thrown away this is also aquarius energy you've got a lot of aquarius energy i don't know if you're dealing with an aquarius it doesn't matter what sign you're dealing with what matters is that there is this awkward potential this 
lovely potential, but also this unexpected quirkiness that I don't think you, you anticipated. It, I don't think you know how to deal with it. Let's put it that way. Um, be playful. Stay on the surface. This is Gemini energy. You're dealing with air energy. Air energy is hard for you to understand. You ever watch that show, The Avatar, Avatar, The Last Airbender? It's a great um, metaphor because Aang was an airbender and the hardest, um, ele he, but he was the avatar, right? So he could master all four elements because he's the avatar. But the hardest one for him to master was earth. So earth and air have this natural sense of complete opposite about it you know it, it's like a whole different way to master it you master earth by being stubborn and fixed and not changing your mind and that's completely different than this air energy so there is a sense of capricorn you being put into a situation that's very difficult for you because it's it's whisking you off of your feet and it's making you feel out of control and it's it's not as predictable as you would like it to be understood this is libra energy and aquarius energy more air energy wise counsel taking advice weird noises coming up from this hotel um this is aquarius energy wise old owl wisdom and then this is partnership uh, so this is libra energy of finding a balance and finding how to fit in um recognizing um you will see the way to make this work. You will see the way to make this partnership work, to make it balance out. You will see the wonderful beauty in it. You will find a place somehow, even if it's made difficult for you at first to fit in. It's not that you're trying to fit in, but you are trying to fit in. You're trying to fit into a new life. You're trying to fit into a new situation. You're trying to figure out how to make things work. You're going to do it. You absolutely are. You may have to get some advice. You may need some counseling. You may just want to take some advice from somebody that you really trust as somebody who is very wise and very helpful and can see things from perspectives that you really can't see and lend some sort of insight um, that's going to help this light in the mood for you. You know, that's what fucking friends are for, Capricorn. That's what they're freaking for. <laughs> I mean, to help out, to give you that different perspective. Um, in other words, I don't think, and I'll, I'll tell you this right now, I saw one card that I kept out for you. One card that I kept out for you. Hold on. Hold on found it faith yeah I mean I think this is the key to your whole message today is just having faith in your circumstance right now <laughs> even if the road isn't clear even if the path isn't clear do not lose faith the storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more it's such a beautiful message that the like the angels are just literally saying I know it looks wonky right now. I know it's uncomfortable right now. All of that is going to clear up. And if you haven't run into your rough patch yet, and I feel like a lot of you haven't run into your rough patch yet, like like that extra shit, why do I have to deal with what where is this coming from? It's going to come. And your angels want you to have faith. They're around you saying I know it's going to seem crazy. I know it's going to seem like you should give up. I know it's going to seem like a warning and a sign to turn around. Turning around is going to just put you in the direction that the storm is, is, is going in, right? You want to move forward and let the storm pass over you. You want to keep heading in the direction that you're going. And it is going to have to be a leap of faith right now. Sacred knowledge close your eyes and focus on your breath feel the peace within beyond your thoughts lies the eternal truth the i am presence of eternal love your thoughts are going to be really hard for you right now and maybe that's why there's so much air energy because air 
is thoughts and ideas and there's so many ideas rolling around in your head and you're seeing so many dangers and you're seeing and you're seeing you're seeing um so much maybe that you've just never seen before and you don't know what to do with maybe it's too much knowledge too quickly too much information too soon it's okay to have to just take all that air and breathe it in and let it fill up your lungs to take it away from your brain and put it into a different part of your body that can use it better because it's like the more you get stuck in your head capricorn the more you're going to exhaust yourself and and deplete your the energy from yourself so what you need to do is take all that air and instead of letting it cloud you with all these new ideas and all this this uncertainty let it release you know get get that oxygen to your brain so that it's nurtured by the air instead of defeated by it peace this is amazing no matter where you are or what you're doing inner peace is always possible all it takes is a subtle shift in awareness think love and peace will follow Remember how much you love this person. Remember how much you love this situation. Remember how much you have always wanted it. And know and remember that 3D translation is always messy, but so, so worth it. There is that sense of getting back to your breath. Angels want you to breathe. There is a sense of you being so tense you haven't actually had a good breath in a long time. Taking time out just to take a breather. That's what you need right now. And last but not least, and these cards work so beautifully together, love. Remember it said, think love and peace will follow and love is here in your life. The heart of love is the heart of creation all is possible through love all is worthwhile for love may all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth this is love capricorn if you had any doubt if you had any insecurity this is love 27 27 was just my timestamp right there this is divine counterpart this is soulmate this is love it's not perfect but it's beautiful. Let's go over to tarot. I'll see you guys in the extended.